Hi, this is Midge Woods. Thank you for joining us at Spirit at Work. And tonight is one of my most favorite subjects at all, is spiritual cinema. And my friend, Paula Kerr, is the director, a Boise director of spiritual cinema. And we're here to discuss what is spiritual cinema. Um, spiritual cinema is a new um, genre of movies that are happening. and. Um, Stephen Simon is behind what's going on with, with spiritual cinema, and it has become this wonderful project. I started about a year and a half ago um, as a life coach, gathering people together to, for the sake of watching movies, and um, movies with deep, deeper meanings that cause us to think about things that happen in our own lives. And, and um, it has just been this project that has taken off like wildfire, and there's been a lot of so let's first talk about what is um, classified as a, a spiritual cinema. Uh, you know, what is a spiritual movie, for instance? Well, the movies that we're doing ask two questions. Who are we and why are we here? And so it, it causes you to go deeper than just entertainment. Well, I love watching movies, so, and especially ones that have a deeper meaning. Mm -hmm. So that I believe that that is a an incredible vehicle to get information out to people and also it gives us um, an experience that we might not have mm -hmm. or experience <clears throat> and right. then our awareness actually becomes part of the solution rather than the problem mm -hmm. you know so when you're seeing the problem over here the solution can be resolved somehow right. within our mind so mm -hmm. is that basically what we're talking about is watching movies that have that maybe in inside track? Mm -hmm. Well, storytelling has been a part of our culture since the beginning of time when, when cowboys would get together and sit around the campfire and, <laughs> and, and share stories and pass them down through generations. And so um, now we're so blessed to live in a, in a day and an age and an era when you know we can view for $10, we can go to a movie and um, get this huge message you know, from um, the movies that are put out today. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like what we did this past few weeks was um, a movie came to town that uh, a few of us knew about, and all of a sudden we had the entire town going to see it, which mm -hmm. was What the Bleep. Right. And right. that is a quantum physics movie that uh, deals with a, kind of a combination of documentary and animation and um, storytelling, everything all combined into one, but has this powerful, powerful message mm -hmm. and, and insight and knowledge of how our brain actually works. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. um, so what kind of um, things are Stephen Simon doing? I, I noticed that he, on the back of his book here, uh, The Force is With You by Stephen Simon, um, he has some experts uh, from some, Somewhere in Time, which is one of my all-time favorite old movies, uh -huh. um, which was what, about 10, 15 years ago, maybe? Oh, I think it was in the 70s. Oh, yeah. even farther than that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. with and Christopher Reeves. and Yeah, in his book, he actually mentions um, and does a review of 70 different movies. That, that are just absolutely wonderful. And, and obviously, Stephen's a movie producer, not a writer. Um, he was inspired by Neil Donald Walsh, who is a writer. I, I think people are familiar with his work. He's done Conversations with God. And Stephen and Neil are friends, and, and they're working right now on uh, The Indigo Child, releasing a movie called The Indigo, which will, which will actually hit the movie theaters in January of, of 2005. So he's done some really wonderful work, and Neil noticed that Stephen was doing movies that um, would cause people to think deep, deeper. And he went to him and he asked them if this was, you know, by chance or, or if it was intentional. And he said, "Well, of course it's intentional," <laughs> you know. So, um, but he was noticing that a lot of these movies were not making it into mainstream films because mainstream films were pretty market-driven. They had to be full-length feature films in order to get attention. Um, so and rated also. And right, the, and right. none of these are rated because I know it's right. bleep wasn't rated. And so a lot of these films um, were not making it to mainstream, and he really wanted to get the message from young film producers to um, be able to 
get them out to audiences like ours, like my movie group, that want to see films that, that will move their spirit. And so he, this is what he did, is he kind of broke away from mainstream and started to look at producing these films. And um, it has just been a wonderful thing. They've since, since uh, I started my movie group as an audience-based group in February of 2004, uh, June of 2004, the ISE was formed. So the Institute for Spiritual Entertainment was formed um, formally which helps guide us as audiences and groups that are doing this. So how does a group like, uh, like yours work? Well, I just basically started out, I, mine was one of the first three that actually came into being, and, and so it was very much an icebreaker project. And since then, there's been probably 70 to 80 groups that have popped up internationally now. There's actually some groups in Australia, I believe. So. Um, I'm on a, a coordinator phone call about every quarter of the year with Stephen Simon and all the other movie coordinators nationwide. So people can actually go to uh, spiritualcinemacircle.com and okay, And that'll be find, on our bottom right here. <laughs> yeah, and they can find a, um, they can find uh, their area. Basically, they can put in their zip code, I believe, and that will lead them to whatever group is in their area. And then if they want to, on a Boise local level, they can actually go to Yahoo Groups and type in Spiritual Cinema, or Soulful Cinema Club, and then um, sign up for the local group. So. Or you can uh, also contact our web page, because we'll have information about that on a, our okay. site also. Okay. Um, so does this uh, group meet once a month? Once a month, we meet on the Saturday following the first Friday of each month. And um, it has just been wonderful. I've had people of all different walks of life show up, from uh, ministers to uh, metaphysical people to you know all different realms of, of people that have shown up. And what's wonderful about it is you would think if you sat someone you know, those two people next to each other, you might have conflict. And, and what's really happened is that they've all realized that we're, we have more in common than, than we do in conflict. And in that, we all believe in a higher power, and we all believe that we're here to bless each other and, and to, that we're all connected somehow. So, so it's been fun. all of these movies are sent to you, mm -hmm. and then you show them, at, what, four a night? Yeah. Possibly. Well, actually, it wasn't. When I started my group, the Cinema Circle did not exist, and that's only been within the last five months. And so when I started the group, I started it based on Stephen's book and just chose from the list of 70 that are in his book. And then they created the Cinema Circle, where now um, movie producers can go and submit films to the board and then they review these movies so that um, they can put them on DVDs, which actually go out to the groups now. So that completes the circle of them producing the films as well as us watching them. So do you